not having advertising to build a brand uh, is actually a, a, a fabulous constraint um, because it means that you have to do all the things a lot harder with the things that you have, whether it's your packs, whether it's your website, whether it's your events and sampling, whether it's all the things that you can afford to do, the little things that you can you yourself and the owners of the business can do. So in the case of packs, we call it pack advertising. We use our packs as our best media, uh, and we treat them as if they were advertising media. Dorset Cereals positioning was all about a company in Dorset doing the right thing, honest, tasty and real, making unadulterated breakfast pleasure that was not like the FMCG mainstream brands, that was really an artisanal product. And so the first thing we said was, the, the act of advertising is wrong. Well, they said, well, okay, that's, <laughs> that's interesting, but you know, how are you going to get us to, uh, how, are you gonna get, how are you going to get this thing famous, how are you going to get awareness, and how are you going to get trial? We said, well, actually, the first thing we need to do is, is go back to pack advertising and decide you know, how are we going to use these packs to leap off the shelf. Packs have two jobs to do. You have to get them to shout on the shelf or to be seen or to stand out. But then this, you've got this dilemma of having to say, well, I don't want to have something that's shouting at me on the breakfast table in the morning. So we wanted them to look like they tasted so that you didn't have to write the flavour on there. You could actually look at it and go, that's berries and cherries. It looks delicious. We wanted to very simply give people a little window into the soul of the product. So we cut out a whole load of holes in and let the thing come through and created a leaf shape. Very simple. Uh, third thing is we put this magpie effect on, you know, Human nature is still, still loves shiny jewels and actually making the logo silver was that simple. Then when we came to the actual size of the box, we didn't put it in a standard size because it stood out because it was a different shape. And we were lucky enough to have got that space, which we could receive but stood out in. And then when you get it home, uh, you know, there we are sitting on the table and people are going, actually, you know, I actually almost arrange it so I would end up having it styling my home. It's almost as important as the soft furnishings and the colour of my curtains. We wanted to use our packs to get them to evangelise our products. They were so good, they were so beautiful, that they'd actually have to talk about them. Yeah, so how's Dawson Cereals doing today? It's phenomenally strong. It's grown to, I believe, in excess of 45 million or 40 million pounds as a brand. Um, you know, when we started working with it, it was, the brand was only 4 million pounds, and that wasn't that long ago. Um, it has never done an above-the-line advertising campaign, and it's gone beyond its own category of muesli and it's moved into other areas very successfully. I'm not anti-advertising per se. You know, advertising is an extraordinarily powerful thing. However, it has traditionally robbed uh, brands and uh, from, or robbed areas and uh, sectors such as packaging uh, and other areas which are in fact you know, more compelling or more relevant and sometimes more powerful.